BBC World News. Now, it's an idea that's been borrowed from Finland and it's claimed that it can re help reduce sudden infant death syndrome. Baby boxes are promoted as a safe alternative to standard cots or Moses baskets. The cardboard boxes come with items like clothes, blankets and medicine for the newborns. They're now being offered to new mums in a slum in Nairobi. The BBC's David Wafula reports. The promise of lower infant mortality is something that many parents aim for, especially when you're living in an informal settlement like this one, where access to quality medical health care and basic needs is a challenge. But the question is, will this solution come in a box? 50% of infant deaths occur in sub-Saharan Africa. These boxes give babies a fighting chance in life in Kenya's slums. Inside, they have mosquito nets, sheets, medicine, mattresses. But even the box itself is useful. I'm hoping that when I get the box, I will use it as my baby's cot. It will help because it comes with a mosquito net, soap, diapers. The baby can stay in the box as you do house shoes. The baby gets a safe space when my child is on the bed and in the box. There's a big difference. Before we had the boxes, the baby can roll and fall. Health workers give them out free and teach people how to use them. They've been given to more than 1,300 mothers in one slum alone. Poorer women face the, uh, the worst inequalities in health, especially maternal and newborn health. And that is what Total Care Box is trying to do. We are trying to provide quality health care and also provide newborn essentials. I will be very careful with the box. It can absorb water. Because our houses are single rooms and in a slum, I fear water and also fire. I will be very careful while doing my house chores. The box will be on my bed safe. Similar schemes have been trialed elsewhere with the idea originating in Finland in the 1930s. David Wafula for BBC News.